the new girl. It's not every day that Sunnyvale Elementary gets a new student. Kate and Mimi couldn't wait to see who would be joining the class. They even made a big sign with glitter and stickers to welcome their new classmate. When class started, their teacher introduced a new student. Her name was Sandy, and she had just moved to Sunnyvale. Sandy was very shy and kind of afraid to be in a new town with so many new people. My name is Kate, and this is my friend Mimi. We are so happy to have you in our class, said Kate. This made Sandy feel happy and not so shy anymore. For the rest of the week, Kate, Mimi, and Sandy did everything together. They helped each other build popsicle stick castles during arts and crafts. They experimented with baking soda and vinegar during science class to make the biggest volcano eruption anyone had ever seen. They ate lunch in their super secret girls club underneath the playground slide where boys are not allowed. They played jump rope and hopscotch at the same time during recess. And they even had a slumber party at Kate's house where they roasted marshmallows in the backyard. It was really funny when Mimi burnt her marshmallow to a crisp. Yikes, I'm not very good at this marshmallow cooking business, laughed Mimi. Kate was happy that she had made such a great new friend. Everything was perfect, or so she thought. When Kate arrived at school on Monday, she saw that Mimi and Sandy had moved their seats to the back of the class. Kate thought it was strange, but maybe they were just trying to get away from smelly Johnny Stephen. P.U. But things just got worse as the week went on. Mimi and Sandy didn't want to work with Kate on the Popsicle Castle anymore. Instead, they played with glitter and stickers at a different table. They didn't want to help build a new village around the volcano. Instead, they built a piñata with a balloon and paper mache. They didn't want to eat lunch with Kate in their super secret girls club. Instead, they sat next to the swings and whispered to each other. If Mimi and Sandy were trying to hurt Kate's feelings, it was working. To make things even worse, Kate saw Mimi and Sandy after school at Mr. Baker's bakery trying new flavors of cake. Me and Mimi used to do that, sighed Kate. Later, she saw Mimi and Sandy at Nancy's fancy costume shop, trying on princess clothes and playing with magic wands. Me and Mimi used to play princess at that store, said Kate as she wiped a tear from her eye. Kate was so sad. She didn't understand why Mimi and Sandy didn't want to play with her anymore. What did I do wrong? wondered Kate as she sat alone on the front steps of her house. Did she say something that made Mimi and Sandy not like her? Maybe she hurt one of their feelings without knowing it. Thought after thought went through Kate's head. Just as she was about to give up and go inside, Junior and Theo rode up on their bikes. Quick, Kate! Junior exclaimed. Mimi is in trouble and needs your help! Kate didn't hesitate one second before she hopped on her bike and followed Junior and Theo to the playground. It did not matter if Mimi didn't want to be friends anymore. If she was in trouble, Kate would be there to help. When they arrived at the park, Kate saw something she couldn't believe. Mimi and Sandy were dressed in princess costumes and stood under a pretty sign that read, Kate is the best friend in the world. Surprise! Everyone yelled. Kate was speechless. Sandy stepped forward with a beautiful pink cake. I didn't know how to say thank you for letting me be your friend, so I asked Mimi if she could help me throw you a surprise party. Kate was so relieved. I thought you didn't want to be my friends anymore, she said with a sigh of relief. Are you crazy? yelled Mimi. You're the best friend anyone could ever have!
Now it was time to party. Mimi, Kate, and Sandy put on their princess costumes and ate delicious cake like nobody's business. Junior and Theo drooled as they watched them eating and having fun. Can we have some cake? They pleaded. The girls thought really hard. Well, this is a princess party, said Mimi. And this is a princess cake, added Sandy. So if you want some cake, you have to do one thing, demanded Kate. The end.